Good morning, everyone, and welcome to babylady.co.uk. Welcome back to those of you who are regular watchers, and we do really appreciate you watching. Um, so do give a shout out, let us know where you're watching from today, um, and hopefully some of our super fans are watching today. So we're going to talk about double uh, prams that will double, putting prams that will grow with your family today. Before we start on that, tell me about your weekend. Did you have a lovely weekend? Have we got any first-time mums watching today? Any mums who maybe had their first Mother's Day this week? Did, they, did you actually have your first Mother's Day and how was it special? Tell us how you celebrated. I know it's not quite the same that we can't share these days with our mums, most of us, uh, which is really, obviously, I know a lot of us are really, really missing our parents at the moment. But if you have got stories to share, we always love to hear them. I actually got to have a walk yesterday with my teenage children, which sounds quite, it doesn't sound very exciting, but if you have teenage children, you will identify with this and you will understand how special that was to get everybody, all my family out in one go in the fresh air. It was quite a challenge. So that was, that was my uh, Mother's Day. It was lovely. Uh, we had a nice dinner. It was really nice. We had a really, really nice day. So if you are watching today, do share with us your stories because we do love to hear them. And uh, say we should be streaming today on Facebook, on YouTube, and also on our Instagram feed. And um, we always love it if you want to like and share our page. That's really, really good. We hit a massive milestone this weekend as well. So we are we keep smashing these milestones. It's been really, really good for us. So we have now over six thousand people uh, watching us and joining us on our Facebooks, which is really, really excellent. And thank you so much to all of you who do subscribe to our page and watch what's going on. I know that you love the fact that we share newness and we do have newness coming we, we we did have something scheduled today that sadly has been delayed and that's why we couldn't share it with you today but it will come it will be coming um, and as you know that we do like to bring them here to you first at babylady.co.uk and if you're watching on replay do please add the hashtag replay so we're going to take your questions today our topic today is about uh, how to think about buying your first pushchair if you want to future proof it perhaps you're buying now maybe at the start of your family you think perhaps you might have more children later on you obviously you don't know but you may possibly have that a lot of our customers particularly when they come into store and obviously we know currently we still can't do that but if they do come into store they do often say do you know what if i'm going to spend a thousand pound plus i only want to do it once I only want to spend that money once and I do want to know that that push share is going to last me whatever life throws at me. Um, and I think this is something that we at Baby Lady are particularly good at. We can identify generally from asking a series of questions. And because our staff are very experienced, uh, we, we know to understand what a customer's needs are and hopefully in the right direction. That's what we try to do anyway. Susan, thank you. It's lovely to see you watching this morning. So, yeah, we're going to talk about if you are expecting and trying to buy, obviously, things to consider if you want your pushchair or pram to last, if you want it to last. Generally, most of the things that we sell are quite uh, long, they're, they're quite hard wearing, they're, they're designed to give you longevity, they're designed to grow generally, if you have more children, they will last. There's not much that we sell which I would consider to be a throwaway product because it's not really something that we as a company believe in. We do know that there are things out there that maybe just will last you one and you just get rid of it and buy something else new. A lot of the European manufacturers, they actually specialize in making things which are designed to last because they have a different ethos, because they have a passion for providing the best for your baby, um, providing something that will grow and last you. Um, but they, not a lot of the European manufacturers have products that are will will be able to be doubled up is what i'm trying to say these are some of the examples of some of the things that we have on our shop floor that are single push chairs but if you did then go on to have another child close together you may be able to double them up in different ways obviously they're all slightly different now you may never use them that way and i've always said to customers if i'm doing a, a consultation it's not the primary reason to buy something like this you shouldn't um decide to buy 
one of these just because you might potentially use it that way further down the line because you, you you might never use it that like that and also that might not still be the best product for you it's still about buying what's going to be the best and the most suitable product obviously within your budget and we do work within different budgets um most of what we've got out here are um, sort of reasonably expensive products because when I was looking at what we had on our shop floor that would that would grow they do tend to be sort of more towards the thousand pounds but there obviously there are other things available um, we just haven't got room to put them all out so if you've got any specific questions about this do ping them across to us um, in the meantime I'm going to talk about some of the things we've got out and obviously how they work so starting at the far end we put out the Upper Baby Vista. Upper Baby were um, one of the first people to introduce a single pram that could then be adapted and used to incorporate two children. And you can use it for twins as well, but we're really talking about buying it for your single child today and then potentially repurposing it so that you can use it longer and later. So with the Upper Baby Vista included when you purchase it are a carry cot and a seat unit. Hopefully you can see this from here. A carry cot and a seat unit both fit onto your chassis. Uh, but if you went on to have another child with a fairly uh, close proximity, you can use your original carry cot and your seat unit if you buy a set of adapters. You need two adapters for this one um, an upper and lower adapter, but it means that you can use your carry cot and your seat unit on the same chassis. Now that will cover a probably six months gap. If you need to have two children on the same frame longer, you'll need to add um, another seat unit, and obviously that will cost a little bit more. But it is quite useful to know that if you did want to use this product, you could do that. So moving on, this is uh, the Bugaboo Donkey. Now, we don't often include this in our thinking for single push chairs because it is primarily designed to be used as a double. But if you knew, if you were thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have two children close together, I've waited, um, you know, maybe I need to, to make sure that I have two children quite quickly, that's my plan, you might want to consider the donkey as an option. This will come as a single donkey with a carry cot and a seat unit and also a side basket. And the donkey is very clever because as your family grow, you actually extend the width of it to make it bigger sideways. Now, the beauty of this is if you have two clo very close together children, particularly if they're very, very young and you want them parent facing, this is pretty much one of the few that will allow you to have them side by side parent facing and grow with your family. Don't forget there are individual videos on all of these products on our YouTube channel. Um, because if we try to demonstrate how they work in terms of how they become future proof in this particular video, it would go on for hours and you'd get very bored. Um, so that's why if you want to see these in more detail, do let us know. And also if you message us uh, via any of the normal channels, then we can obviously ping you across um, videos that we've recorded if you can't find them. So moving along the row here, um, this is one of the new Egg 2s. Um, the eggs and the Egg 2s have always been able to do this. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing with the egg. Um, as you know, we are um, great fans of this. But the way that this one works is there is one adapter bar. So you buy it as a single egg. And the great thing about these, and actually I think the Vista as well, is they really are single buggies. You're not actually buying something that is a double that's only designed to be used that way. It is a proper single push chair. You can add a set of what we call tandem adapters and they will cost you 50 pounds and they will allow you to use your carry cot and your seat unit on your chassis without any other expenditure, which is a fantastic thing to do if you only need it for a six month wrap over. And quite often, if you're thinking ahead, you might only need to use it for six months. So you only need that little bit of coverage. And if you think ahead when you're purchasing at the start, when you're when you're making that first decision for your first baby and you've got that option, it saves you a huge expense later down the line. And this is why we're sort of covering this topic today. And the same thing applies with the Vista that we looked at first. Again, it's a £50 additional payment will allow you to use your um, Vista uh, seat unit and carry cot on your same chassis without anything else for a six month period. And I think that's, you know, tremendously good value for money. Um, moving along here, we've got the iCaddy Peach, um, ever popular. This is the latest uh, model of Peach. Um, peaches have been able to do this for quite a long time. Again, we've got our carry cot and our seat unit here. 
the peach is supplied with a set of elevators and then you will also need to buy if you want to double this up again a set of adapters um, and these are they're called converter adapters and these again will cost you 50 pounds they attach front and back and they will give you the option again to put your seat unit in your carry cot however you will need to purchase an additional frame and an additional hood because when you buy your peach when it comes out of the box um, you will only have one frame that you swap your seat unit and your hood it does give you more positions um, in terms of how you can set this up uh, whereas the other two can only be set up in in one position each when you're when you're doubling them but you will have to spend a little bit more um, to double that up so that's just something that maybe you want to consider um, it shouldn't be your overriding decision say going forward about how you want to use it later on but it's just something to consider um, so then along here I've got the eye candy orange soon to re be replaced by the new eye candy orange uh, which we will feature uh, as soon as it arrives now the eye candy orange has always been one of the most popular ones that we sell um, that will double up but maybe it doesn't always sell as a single and it's quite overlooked as a single um, it can be used as a single we pop the carry cot on top here and again when you buy this you do in fact get pretty much most of what you need to set this up as a double apart from the tandem converters again 50 pounds investment so very good value for money and of the ones that we've looked at this is probably um the cheapest option we've looked at so far because pretty much the rest of these are all around the thousand pound mark um whereas these this one currently we do have some sale models of these um and it will normally retail at 895 pounds so it's a little bit less expensive and i know that the new model that's coming we've seen um pictures of is it just looks beautiful as well um, as a single and then at the end here I just wanted to feature this because we do have these on clearance. This is the coast. This is the Silvercross coast. Um, the Silvercross wave will do this as well, but we just didn't have a wave here today to put out. Um, so Silvercross do also have a couple of different models that will, um, will be future-proof. We call it future-proofing. And that's basically where you buy a product to start with, but it will grow with your family. Um, and it's just something that people like to bear in mind. Um, should it be relevant? Um, for your child or your particular circumstances. It might save you quite a lot of money because if you've already invested in something and it then won't grow with your family and, and that's how uh, life pans out, you could end up having to spend, you know, five, six, seven, a thousand pound all over again, um, which is why we thought we would cover it today. So do we have any questions so far? So we've got one from Leanne and she already has uh, an egg pushchair. Can she put a buggy board onto her current egg? Chair. Yes, you can. Uh, so yes, you can. There is a, a specific board available for the egg, um, and it also fits the egg one and the egg two. Um, you will need the adapter that goes with that as well. Um, and yes, you can put a buggy board on that. In fact, talking about buggy boards, as we have raised uh, that topic, thank you, Leanne. Um, most of these, while we're talking, put push chairs and prams that will grow with your family can have buggy boards ad uh, attached. Um, a lot of them do make their own boards. So um, Vista have their own board. So do um, so do Bugaboo. Bugaboo's board actually does have a seat on it as well. So if you've got a smaller gap and you don't want to, you, you need something that you can sit down on, you can do that. Egg have a board. Um, I can you have a board. Now, when we're talking about the orange, the orange has a built in buggy board. It's the only one that actually has a built in buggy board, which is why it's, it's very clever. At the moment, um, it does get quite overlooked by its big uh, big brother or big sister, the peach. But the eye candy orange is a very clever product. The way that it works and the way that it adapts is very, very clever. And because it does have a built-in uh, buggy board, again, it does give you that extra feature of having that included. Um, the Coast doesn't have a specific board, but I think you would be able to fit a universal board. I would have to double check on that if someone wanted to know that particularly, um, because that's obviously quite a specialist thing. In terms of costing, if you are thinking of having to use these for longer, so if you if you need them to last more than six months, then you will need to buy additional pieces. So for example, say you have a, I'm gonna say 16 month gap between your children just being able to put your carry cot and your seat unit on at the same time isn't going to last you long enough because at just over two years old, 
chances are your child will not be fully walking. Well, eight, 16 months, that's 20, uh, 22 months, 22 months. So at 22 months, your child is probably not going to be, or your second child is not going to be walking as much as you want. So that means you might need to invest in an additional seat unit. And obviously that will add to your cost. Um, just something else to bear in mind. Um, for example, on the Vista, uh, the additional seat unit on the Vista is £250. Um, if you're buying, um, if you buy a donkey, you will get a seat unit and a carry cot. If you need to double that up and, and make it two seat units, that is going to cost you um, about £300 more. So that's sort of quite a big investment. If you want to use your egg, obviously you've got your tandem adapters that are 50 pound but your second seat is 199 pounds with your eye candy peach again it's going to cost you probably about 300 pounds to double it up um with your orange you're already going to have both seats and a, a seat and a carry cot if you need an extra seat fabric uh, as well as your adapters you're only looking at maybe another 100 pounds on top of your adapters so that's sort of the best value for money if you're going to need it um longer and again, for your coast, you're going to be looking at about £250 um, to add the extra pieces. So it is something to bear in mind if you're going to need that for longer. If you're going to need that gap longer, um, then obviously, you know, you might want to consider that. Do we have any questions so far? Madeline says, I'm due for my appointment at the end of April for my first baby. We can't wait. Madeline, we can't wait. Honestly, we are so excited to have all of you back in store. We're making all these plans, aren't we, Zoe? If new this, new that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, she's due for her appointment at the end of April yeah. uh, to shop for her first baby. Is it worth looking for a single that can double or just looking at singles? Um, I would say that that's something that will relate to your your lifestyle and your and your plans for the future. I would say if it is your first baby, it's definitely something that you should take into account. It's not something that you should make your primary decision over. If there is a product, and obviously when you come, Madeline, we'll have a, a trained expert with you to help you and answer your individual questions, which is what we do um, at the moment in our private appointments. Um, and they will be able to talk to you about your lifestyle, how you want to use it. Um, and it may well be that one of these isn't the perfect product for you, in which case being able to double it up isn't going to necessarily be your number one decision. But it, it should definitely be, if it's your first baby, it's something you should take into account. And that's why we wanted to cover it today, because we wanted to point this out to people. And I think particularly for those people who are so confused online, you look at all these pictures, it is so, so confusing. A lot of people do come to us and they say they're so stressed, they're so confused, they don't understand how things work, they don't know what's best for them. Um, it is something that we try, we, we do try to take the stress out of buying. But yes, in answer to your question, Madeline, I would say if it is your first baby, it is definitely something that should be on the radar and something you should consider. Um, because if you are spending this sort of money, generally, it's quite nice to know that that will last you and you won't end up having to spend again. Tony asks, how many side by side uh, doubles are there? Oh, my goodness. Well, that's how long is a piece of string. Um, we've got about four here, but obviously there are others. Um, side by side doubles are less popular now than inline doubles for lots of different reasons. And also, Tony, that would depend on um, if you're having twins. If you're having twins, it's a different it's a whole different buying game. And we did do a live uh, I don't think it was last week or the week before where we specifically talked about buying for twins which is slightly different to future proofing, which is obviously what we're focusing on today. So if you are if you are looking for twins, that's a much more specialized thing. Um, I do like side by sides for twins. As I said, when we did our live previously, um, I really do like the fact that you can have the next you. I, I love the donkey for that. You know, I, I think if you are looking for that type of product, the donkey is, is a great product. There are a few others that we do. We do have the mountain buggy um, duet. We also have um, uh, a couple of others so if you do want more specific information do message us or we can message you back after this um we do have i think currently four maybe five actually five yeah. possibly five things here that are side by side at the moment emily asks can the pioneer double no sadly emily the pioneer can't double so that is something to bear in mind pioneer is beautiful and i know those of you who've seen the new pioneer eclipse are absolutely loving it and this is where i say 
your decision making it has to be influenced but not completely solely on this because if you fall in love i mean the pioneer eclipse is so beautiful with the rose gold it's just stunning you might decide that you love it so much that you're going to take that um, you're just going to go with it because it is just beautiful. Um, and Pioneers are really popular. They're one of our best selling, um, top, certainly in our top 10 products, um, a great product. But sadly, at the moment, uh, and as far as I'm aware, Silvercross have no plans to introduce the option to double it up. You do have to change the way that you bake things. Um, you have to make it stronger. If you're going to allow it to be doubled up, then you need to change where the weight is placed on the chassis. So it's it's not as simple as just being able to make a set of adapters. It's actually quite a lot more complex than that. I've got Kelly who's asked, can the BB car stylo have a buggy board? So yes, you can put a, a buggy board on the stylo. It's a little bit more complicated because of the braking system and, and obviously the design of the chassis. But yes, we can do that. Um, sadly, BB Car, who we absolutely love, um, don't currently offer a double up version. We have they have tried it in the past actually with BB Car, but it made them so immensely long that actually they weren't very practical. Um, but that's another thing. You know, when you talk about, uh, I know Madeline was asking earlier about like buying decisions. If you fall in love with a BB car and, and you know, who wouldn't because they are so beautiful, uh, you might have to decide, actually, I'm going to live with the fact that it won't double up because that's just not the way it works. Um, but it's a different type of product. Obviously, um, very, very eye catching. Some of the um, BB cars are so beautiful. Um, and yeah, just a, a very a, just a different type of product. And we have got newness coming from BB Car as well. I'm very excited. Susan will love to know that. Uh, but we have got newness coming. I love newness. I love sharing the newness with you. And I'm really excited because I've seen a few things that I know are coming very soon, um, particularly from BB Car, who just come up with, I don't know how they come up with their new things every year. Every year, just beautiful, beautiful things. Not that we don't have beautiful things here, but just different. Megan has asked, um, how much is it for the Vista to double? Right, so the Vista as a single is generally uh, £979. If you want to be able to double it up just to put your seat unit and your carry cot onto the same chassis, all you'll need to do is buy a set of adapters that will cost you £50. However, if you need it to last longer um, and if you need to be able to have to put two seat chutes on it, also, bear in mind, if you want to put car seats on it as well, that will change the pricing. Um, a rumble seat for this is, um, I think, £250. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's not the cheapest uh, second seat on the market. But the Vista is a beautiful product. It's brilliantly made. Um, if you have a very outdoor lifestyle, it's it's one of the best uh, for outdoor lifestyles, um, particularly if you do want that future proofing as well. Um, and they said, they, as I said, they were some of the first people to introduce um, what we what we now call future proofing. Um, they came up with that idea um, and they do it really cleverly. Any more questions? God, well, I must have covered it very thoroughly today then. So hopefully we have answered your questions. Let's give a shout out to who's watching today. So who is watching today? I can see that Susan is watching. So we've had a load of people watching on Instagram today. Um, as usual, we've got Georgia, we've got Tori, Madeline, we've got Louise, Catherine, Emily, um, Maisie, Katrina, Megan, uh, Kelly, Kerry, Becky, we've got Dan, we've got, who's that? Loads I can't see that name. It's sometimes the names that just come up as your username, so I can't see those. Um, but then we've also got Scott watching on Facebook as well, and Susan and uh, Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa. Now, Vanessa, I was hoping because this must be your first this yeah, or this weekend must have been your first Mother's Day. And I was hoping, hoping that someone would share me a little story today about your first Mother's Day. Is anyone going to share me a story today about how they spent their Mother's Day? Or shall I just go on just, you know, talking randomly as I normally do? Um, because otherwise, you know, we will. We'll carry on. Is Vanessa going to share a story? No. So Chanel has, uh, Chantel, sorry, she said on uh, YouTube, I'm due my third baby in October. My middle child will be 18 months. I need a lightweight double that's good on all terrain, ideally with a car seat atta attachment. What do you recommend? Okay, so, uh, oh, tell me again, she, what's the gaps? So her, um, she's due her third baby in October. Her middle child will be 18 months. And she needs a lightweight double that's good in all terrain, ideally with a car seat attachment. 
Okay, so um, I would say mountain buggy duet is definitely one to look at. Um, it is lightweight, it's easy to use, it's definitely good on all terrain in terms of um, multi terrain. It's designed to go sort of pretty much anywhere. Um, I think it depends on how much off terrain you want it to do. Um, the Vista is also designed for that type of thing. Um, Vista is very clever the way it's made. It's very heavy duty um, in terms of that. And um, some of the others that we've got here as well, when you say multi-terrain, it will depend. I mean, some people say multi-terrain and actually what they mean is they mean that I'm going to go to the park, but I also want to be able to go to the shops. And pretty much all of these will do that. What they won't necessarily do is want to go through fields and lots of mud. Um, in some of the other videos I've done, I explain the importance of being able to take your wheels off if you're going to get them very muddy. What I would say, Chantelle, is if you message us or we can get in touch with you afterwards and we can talk this through in more detail. Or if you want, if you're not local, you can even book a virtual appointment. So we're still doing virtual appointments. We have got a team standing by today. So if there are uh, things that we haven't covered today and you want to do a virtual appointment today, I think we still do have some gaps today. So we can definitely cover that. Um, but it, we would need a little bit more detail um, from you, Chantelle, to know what is going to be the right type of product. And it's weighing up as well. When you want to double it up, it's weighing up that lightweightness. Um, the mountain buggy, I think, is about... I'm guessing now I think it's about nine or ten kilos it's not that heavy I might be wrong on that but but depends what you consider to be light lightweight um so let's touch base after that and I will uh I'll try and answer that for you um so nobody's going to tell me their mother's day stories is that because none of you got to see your mother's maybe that's the case well next year we do have to look forward to and some of you I know who are expecting babies will have mother's day for the first time next year which will be exciting for you um, so uh, hopefully we've covered most of what you needed to know today. Um, if there are any questions or anything we haven't covered, please feel free to get in touch by any of the normal channels. As I said, if you are watching on replay, we always love it if you add the hashtag replay. We do keep an eye on the messages. So if you are watching on replay and you still have questions, you can still add them to the comments. And also you can get in touch by any of the normal channels. So you can get in touch via Facebook, you can get in touch via YouTube, and you can also get in touch via Instagram um, because we do answer your comments if you have more suggestions um, for what you'd like to see on the lives we always like to hear them if there's a particular subject you want us to cover uh, we are working on the carriers which I know comes up very regularly uh, people want us to do carriers and we're working on that one and that will hopefully be scheduled very soon then we do our very best to fit them in um, anybody else have any further questions before we go Chantel just adds, great, thanks, I'll try to book a virtual appointment. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good idea, Chantel, particularly if you're not local to us. And I know that our, I know that our lives do actually, um, hit, it's quite good, but they, they hit quite a wide audience, not necessarily people that are able to book an appointment to come into store. And um, so you can still book a virtual appointment, we can still help you. Um, our team of experts are here um, to try and guide you through the maze. We want to take the stress out of buying for your baby. And we know that it's a bit of a weird time, um, that it is difficult. Uh, and hopefully, you say, we are starting to book real appointments from the 12th of April. So if you are due, uh, particularly if you're due, I mean, I think probably on the May ones, you really need to have ordered already. But by if you're due June, July, even August, um, get in touch so that we can book you the appointments because they are filling up really fast. Uh, we have got an appointment book, but it is it is filling up fast. So thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We always do really, really appreciate it when you join us on a Monday and Friday at 10.59. Um, so if there's anything we haven't covered, let us know. And we hope that you will join us again on Friday at 10.59. Have a brilliant afternoon, everyone. Whatever you're going to do, I'm really hoping that some of this sunshine will come out. They did say we might see a little bit of sunshine here. It's not sunny at the moment. But enjoy your the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And we look forward to seeing you again on our next.